In this video, I want to go over some common myths about PEX tubing as well as some frequently asked questions to clear things up for you all. First of all, PEX was invented in 1968. And PEX-B is the most commonly used type of PEX tubing, taking up 80% of the world's PEX market. Currently, PEX holds more than half of the US plumbing pipes market share. Oxygen barrier PEX tubing has been tested to withstand temperatures of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, making it perfectly adequate for all types of radiant heating installations. The lifespan of PEX tubing can vary based on frequency of use, water quality, and water temperature, and has an average life expectancy of 40 to 50 years. Today, PEX tubing is allowed to be installed within all 50 states. It is recommended to contact local municipalities prior to installation since installation guidelines vary. PEX has great chlorine resistance ratings, with 0 being not tested or rated and 5 being completely chlorine resistant, and most PEX tubing has a rating of 5. Due to the flexibility of PEX, half as many connections are needed upon installation than water supply systems based on copper piping. PEX is made from material that resists bacterial growth and is oxidative resistant. It's also not resistant to sunlight, which is important. So PEX must be kept out of sunlight and all UV rays. Up on our PEX can expand up to three times the pipe's outer diameter, making it the most freeze resistant pipe on the market. PEX is used in more than 60% of new construction projects in the United States. If you have any more questions about PEX or anything related to PEX, you can ask in the comments section below and I'd be glad to answer.